Hi friends, welcome to Awaken the Heart. I'm your host, Jennifer Martin. To find out more about me and the ministry, you can go to contagiouslove.intl.com. If this is your first time joining Awaken the Heart, welcome. This is gonna be filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit, with the power of God. He will show up with his word. He will show up in the spirit of prophecy. He will show up with counsel and wisdom. He will show up with the might of God. He will show up with healings in his wings. He's gonna show up with miracles in his wings. And I say today, Lord, help. <laughs> we are coming to the helper today. Guys, we're going to enter into prayer and I want to go after the prayers for the saints. I want to pray for you guys. I want to lift you up to the Lord. I want us to come together, join together. Blessed is the unity of the brethren and we're going to pray. And I'm just so hungry, guys. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry today. So welcome, my friends. If you're just joining, I want you just to jump on here, get ready to get right into the, the power of God. I'm not going to do a lot of announcements. I just want to get straight into prayer right now. If you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up if it looks good. And if you'll take a minute and share this, share this with people, because we're going to get into prayer today. We, Lord, help us, right? Everybody just say, Lord, help right now. Do you need help? I need help. We need help. Lord, help. We are calling on the helper and God is so amazing because right when I opened my Bible, it opened straight to the scripture that he wanted us to proclaim today over our lives. And it's going to encourage you that God is ready to help us, that he's ready to uphold us, that he's ready to pour out in us, that the Holy Spirit is ready to come, that he's listening, that he's leaning into our prayers, that he's hearing us and that he's answering us today. I believe things are going to get done today. Things are going to happen in the spirit today as we come and we come together and we say, Lord, we are ready to go another round with you. Remember we talked about last week going another round in the boxing rink and we are ready to put on our gloves today. We're going another round and we're not giving up and we're not quitting and we're not stopping and we're not sitting down, brothers and sisters. We are ready to keep fighting this good fight of faith. Maybe the persecution has increased. Maybe the afflictions have increased. Maybe the pressure has increased, but Lord help. So the Lord's going to help us today. I feel the fire of the Holy Spirit on me. He dropped on me just only even just minutes ago. A special anointing dropped in as he was expecting and ready for me to hit live on this broadcast. And he is ready for things to happen in the spirit today. Because guys, listen, it is time for the breakthrough. It is time for the season of harvest. It is time for the miracles to explode. It's time for healing to explode. It's time for the deliverance of God to explode in our lives. And he's looking for a people of faith. And he's going to impart faith to you today. The spirit of faith is going to come upon us in Jesus' name. We're going to build up our most holy faith today. We're going to build it up because in Jude, this is where I flip to today. And I know the Lord is saying, do this, do this, say this, preach this, talk about this. Because God wants to stir us up, you know, the Holy Spirit. He's like, go, go, go. And he's cheering us on from heaven. You know, Jesus is cheering us on. And I flipped to this today and in Jude verse 20, it says, but you beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So we're going to start right there today. We're going to start praying in the Holy Ghost. We're going to ask the Lord to come Lord help the spirit and the bride say, come the spirit and the bride say, come Lord Jesus. So Lord, we ask you right now. We just yield ourselves to you, Lord. We ask you to come on this session. We ask you to pour out on this session. Lord, we ask for the gift of the helper. Holy Spirit, you are the helper. Jesus, you said you would send us the helper when you went away. You said it was better that you went away so that you could send us the helper and that he would lead us and guide us into all truth and whatever we have need of, that he would help us, that he would comfort us, that he would pour out, that he would move upon us. You said, receive the Holy Spirit. So right now we say, Holy Spirit, we receive you. Come on, guys. We receive the Holy Spirit right now. Lord, we ask for you to help right now. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful, Lord. I'm so thankful for you, Holy Spirit. I just feel the Holy Spirit. 
He's beginning to just draw you right now. He's beginning to draw us right now as we're praying in the Holy Spirit. Just let that river begin to flow. Let that li- river begin to flow right now. The Lord is going to start to help us as we pray in the Holy Ghost because he's our helper, guys. We pray in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost fills us. He makes us new. The river of God comes through us. He makes us drink. He causes us to mortify the deeds of our flesh. Has your flesh been a nasty little thing? Is it getting in the way of walking in the fullness of Christ today or this week? Has your flesh been just a bad little, little flesh and, and, and it just needs, it needs to get disciplined by the Holy Spirit. And so when we get filled with the Holy Spirit, that flesh, it's mortified. It, the Bible says we mortify the deeds of the flesh through the Holy Spirit. So Lord, we thank you right now as we as we come to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you pray the things that we don't even know we need. That you intercede through us, Lord. That you intercede for us. And I'm just so thankful, Holy Spirit, that you come and you pray and you help us. And that's what you do right now. Just let your spirit begin to call out to the living God right now. But you, beloved, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Just lift your hands to Him right now. We won't go long today. But we're just coming straight to the throne of grace. This is what I pray over us today, Father. I pray over your saints right now. Lord, that they are the beloved of God. You are the beloved. Oh, I feel that right now. Oh, the deep love of God. I weep, guys, because I feel his deep love. In that moment, I could feel the overwhelming love of God for you. You are his beloved. He loves you. If you know nothing else today, may the Lord help you know how much that he loves you. I pray the overwhelming love of God. (laughs) That his hand would come upon you, touch your head. And that his love would pour out over you like oil. His sweet, sweet love. Oh, his sweet, sweet love over you right now. I ask for that yoke, Lord, that yoke, that anointing right now, that anointing right now, the yoke of Jesus that destroys every other yoke. Whatever yoke has been placed upon their neck, God, your anointing, it breaks that yoke right now. I thank you, great helper, great Holy Ghost. That's who you are. You are great and greatly to be praised. And you're so faithful to us that when we need help, you said all we have to do is come to you and we could cry out to your name, Lord, and whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we're crying to his name today. We're calling out to his name. Just go ahead and call out to his name right now. Jesus, Yeshua, help me. And oh, he loves it. He longs for it. (laughs) That we would come to the place where we don't think we can rescue ourselves anymore, but we come to the rescue of our souls today. Lord, I thank you right now for these beloved saints. You call them beloved and you say to them today that he's going to build up your faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Oh, the Holy Ghost is so precious. 
The Holy Spirit is so beautiful, so precious, so valuable, the greatest treasure that we could ever have. When we pray in the Spirit, we are doing the most important thing we can do for breakthrough right now. Sure, we pray in English. Sure, we pray in other languages. But pray. Y'all in the mess, look at me. Pray in the language of the Holy Spirit. Pray in the Lord's language. Pray in the Spirit today. Learn how valuable it is, this gift. The Lord, when we cried out, Lord, help us. And we cry out to the Lord, Lord, help us today. He has given us a helper. He's given us the Holy Ghost. He will cause the Holy Ghost to raise up on the inside of you. And you will pray out the mysteries to God. You will pray out everything you need right now. And something's happening as the Holy Spirit, he begins to create the substance of faith within us. And that faith begins to mix within us and begins to stir the waters of God within us. And something begins to flow out of us as we pray in that tongues of the Holy Spirit. And miracles begin to happen over our lives. You don't even know it, saints, but many of the things that, that has happened in your life, many of the miracles, many of the things that have broken through is because you prayed in the Holy Ghost. Many of the things that happened that went well, and that went right in your life is because you prayed in the Holy Ghost. You already prayed those breakthroughs out. So we're going to spend these next few minutes and we're going to see some breakthroughs in our life. We're going to see the Lord help us. We're going to pray in the Holy Ghost. Because He knows what we have need. He knows what we have need of. He knows how He should pray. He knows how He should call out. He knows how to speak by faith. And He has the mountain moving faith that we need. Oh, the Holy Spirit. He's full of faith. When he prays, it happens. This is why we must yield to the Holy Ghost. We need to let him pray through us. Because what he prays and what he releases begins to move that mountain. It begins to move that mountain out of the way. The Lord is beginning to help as we pray in the Holy Ghost. We pray in tongues. And those mountains are beginning to move out from in front of us. You need to start speaking in the Spirit right now. Praying in tongues and seeing that big mountain that you've been staring in the face. You've been staring it in the face. You've been staring it in the face. I want you to see that thing moving right now. I want you to write the name of whatever that thing is on that mountain. I want you to write on it in your vision right now. And you see that thing, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Sickness. Lack. Depression. Whatever it is right now salvation of my children whatever it is right now I want you to write it upon that mountain I want you to look at it and then I want you to start praying in the Holy Ghost right at it and let that faith of the Holy Ghost begin to speak to that mountain Come on, just take a few minutes right here. Start targeting those mountains in the Holy Ghost. I see that mountain. I'm looking at you, mountain. Lord, help. Lord, help. Build me up, Father. Do you hear that? The Holy Spirit, as you pray in tongues, He's talking to your spirit. He's revealing the things that He's releasing. He's building up your faith in your innermost being. Do you feel that beginning to rise up in you? Do you feel that faith of God beginning to rise up in you? The Holy Ghost is building up your faith. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Building up your most holy faith, Jude 20. Praying in the Holy Ghost. 
It's so important to pray in the Holy Spirit. It's so important to sit and pray in the Holy Spirit, not just 30 seconds, not just a minute, but to go in the realm of glory with the Lord and begin to pray and pray and pray. And you pray until the Holy Ghost releases you. You pray until you feel that, that peace release. You pray, you pray and you push and you let the Holy Spirit move that mountain in front of you. You pray until that mountain is released in front of you. And you let the Holy Spirit move. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit right now so strong. I feel the glory so strong. He's just moving in your lives right now. He's moving right now. He's moving through you right now. He is moving through you right now. The Lord is helping us. He is our helper. He is the one. He is the one from glory to glory we are conformed to the image of Christ. The Holy Spirit is the one who sanctifies us, justifies us, cleanses us, purifies us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You said that you would build us up on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Verse 21 says, keep yourselves in the love of God. And that's what we're feeling on this session today. There's such a precious love that's going to pour out over you as you're yielding to the Holy Spirit. The love of God is pouring over you right now from your head to the soles of your feet. Where you needed that encouragement. You needed that assurance. The Lord is giving that to you right now. He's pouring out love over you right now. He wants you to keep yourself in the love of God. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Unto eternal life. Wow. Look for the mercy today. There's mercy for you. There's a mercy seat. There's mercy for the situation. There's mercy for your family. There's always mercy. There's always grace. Every time we come to Him, there is grace, there is love, there is forgiveness, there is mercy. There are miracles. Oh Lord, we thank you for the miracles right now in our families in Jesus' name. Go ahead, write that miracle on the mountain, look at it, and then pray in the Holy Ghost while you're looking at that mountain. You pray in the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost show you about that mountain. Let the Holy Ghost talk to you. Let the Holy Ghost and the faith of God begin to stir in you and fill you up in it. You feel the freedom and the victory of Christ because that's the truth. The Holy Spirit has victories over you. He feels the victory, knows the victory, knows the triumph of Christ every single time. If we but yield ourselves to the Holy Ghost, and bow our knees to the Lord Jesus Christ every day, even in the times where we think we failed, even in the times where we think we've messed up, even in the times where we don't know what else to do and all we can say is, Lord, help. He says, those that humble themselves will be exalted. He said, humility precedes honor. And I tell you, as you humble yourself before the Lord and you cry out, Lord, help day in and day out. And you lift your hands to the great King. You pray in the Holy Ghost and you look at that mountain. Maybe you have to look at it every day. Maybe you've been looking at it for weeks. Maybe you've been looking at it for months. Maybe it's been something for decades that you've been looking at. You've been looking at this mountain, but I tell you, Jesus said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and it shall be done if you do not doubt in your heart. 
So how much more when he gives us the Holy Spirit, we yield to the Holy Ghost, we let the Holy Ghost pray through us at that mountain, focusing our spirit, focusing our attention at that mountain and saying, Lord, I want you to intercede through me for this situation. And we yield and we trust that he knows what he has for us. He knows the plans he has for us. We yield, we trust, and we see God move in the spirit in faith because the Holy Ghost is full of faith. There's no wavering in him. There's no tossing to and fro. He's full of faith. And when he focuses and pinpoints that mountain, and when he begins to decree and declare through you, through the Holy Ghost, man, I feel the authority and the glory of God all over me right now. You're going to see that mountain move because he's going to move it. Jesus Christ is moving that mountain. He loves it. When we say, Lord, help, I'm done. I can't do anything else. Lord, if I see victory in this, it's going to be because you've done it. Come on. Now in verse 24, it says, in Jude 24, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. You see, Jesus has a lot of joy in presenting us right now, faultless, to the Father. And He is able to present us. There it is right there. Now, He is able to keep us from falling. When we say, Lord, help, He is able to keep us. He wants us to trust and lean in who to Jesus today. I don't need anything else. I just need the great Holy Ghost. I don't need anything else. I just need the presence of God. There he is. He's just hovering over you right now. Just put your hands up to the Lord right now. Put your hands up to the Lord. There he is. The anointing is just all over you right now. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, beloved. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Go ahead and start thanking Him for what He's done in the Spirit as you prayed in the Holy Ghost. You might still be praying in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. You feel free with the Holy Spirit right now. Don't be distracted by me. Start moving in the Holy Ghost. Move with your, with your spirit and your innermost being. And let that river flow right now. Let that river flow right now. Let that fire flow right now. Let that stream flow right now in Jesus' name. As you begin to pray and as you're flowing, as you're yielding to the Holy Spirit, the fire of God is just coming all over you. He's causing you to yield. He's causing you to flow. He's causing you to release substance out into the atmosphere, releasing miracles, releasing healing, releasing deliverance, releasing salvation. There it goes. It's flowing right now all over the place, all over the place, all over the place. It's flowing. I feel it. I feel so many streams flowing right now. I don't understand it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. There are many streams flowing right now as the Holy Spirit is flowing through you. I feel it all over the world, all over the world, the people that are connecting into this broadcast. That you're moving in one of those streams. Yield to that stream right now in Jesus' name. There's things happening. There's things moving right now. Supernatural. The glory of God is all over you right now. We thank you for the miracles. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for helping us. Thank you for helping us. Oh, we're nothing without you. We can do nothing without you. You know that we know it. And we know it. We need you. We need you. We need you. We love you so much. Thank you for your precious anointing. Thank you for your presence. It's so precious, Lord. It's so beautiful. It's so full of love. 
You're so full of peace and you're pure and you're holy. You're clean. You're refreshing. And your power brings to life in us. Your power is releasing right now over people and you're bringing things to life and you're releasing life, God. Thank you. Just receive that life right now. Just leave your just just lift your hands. Receive that life right now. The Lord is is bringing to you the things that you need to sustain you, the things that you need to refresh you right now. The Lord is pouring out into you. The Lord is helping. ask you to begin to move right now in their bodies from their head to their soles of their feet even more Lord even more Lord even more increase it Father increase your glory right now in Jesus name Lord, I just release your beloved right now from every curse, from every demonic spirit that's tried to attack them, from every retaliating spirit right now. I loose them from it in Jesus' name. I curse the root of sickness. I curse the root of disease. I curse the root, Lord, right now. Father, loose your people and let them go. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the anointing is just going over so many of you right now. The anointing is so precious. And I know that he's doing that right now. I know that he's baptizing, that he's filling you, that he's refreshing you. I know that he's pouring love in you. Whatever you need right now, it's in the glory. And God's going to give you exactly what you need right now because we've called to him. We said, Lord, help. And he says, when you come before my throne of grace, you will obtain the mercy to help you in time of need. Whatever the need is, God has not left us. He's not forsaken us. He waits to come to you. You are his beloved child. He loves you. I pray you know the desire of God above the mind and above the flesh and above the circumstances and above what life has presented us. I pray that you are overtaken and that you know the love of God. Right now, there's so much power flowing. Just put your hands up to the Lord and receive from Him right now in Jesus' name. As the glory moves over you, your body may receive a healing. Your body may receive a miracle. And I want you to check for that. I want you to check for pains. I want you to check to see what God's doing. Check and let us know. See if the Lord has done something. See what the Lord has done. Check your bodies right now. See what's going on in your bodies. And then let me know in the comments if there's something different, if there's something changed. Pain has left your bodies. 
things have shifted, things have changed, something is moving that you couldn't move before, I want you checking that right now because the Lord loves to do miracles. He loves to do healing. He loves to glorify Jesus. And He wants to do that on here today in Jesus' name. If you've just jumped on, we are praying. We are asking the Lord. We are interceding. We are praying in the Holy Ghost. And I want you guys to just begin to share this broadcast right now. Share this with people. Let them be blessed by the presence of the Lord. It's not about my words. It's about the demonstration of the Spirit. And when you enter into this broadcast, I know that the Holy Spirit is touching you. I know that you will immediately begin to sense the presence of God because that's what He loves to do. You are His beloved. And He wants you to experience that right now. Right now. Right here in this moment. In the hour of prayer. Right here in this moment. In the hour of prayer. Right now in this moment. Right now in this moment. Right now in this moment. Right now in this moment, right now in this moment, right now in this moment, right here in this moment. Right here in this moment. Right here in this moment. He is moving right here in this moment. <laughs> right here in this moment. Just worship Him with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are holy. You are holy, God. We love you. I feel as if I could just float right up into His arms right now. He's wrapped all around you right now. He's wrapped all around you. He's covering you. He's touching you. He's refreshing you. He's reminding you of who you are. He's all we need. He is all we need, guys. Give me Jesus. Give me the Holy Spirit. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry for Him. I love it. Lord, come closer. Lord, come closer still. Lord, come closer. Lord, come closer still. Oh. Oh. Begin to draw us in even deeper still. On your mind, Just go somewhere with me, guys. Just go somewhere with me, right into the glory. I feel it, I feel it now. So beautiful, so majestic. The Lord's going to open your eyes and you're going to see. Lord's opening your eyes right now and 
and he's revealing Many of you are going into visions in the secret place. Mm -hmm. Holy, holy. Go ahead and peer in, says the Lord. Hora mahe. Go ahead. Go ahead and look and see. I am revealing to you some mysteries of my kingdom. I am opening the way through me oh, oh, oh I am the door and I am the life whoever comes in to me will find pasture and I will show you the keys of the kingdom just open the door open the door open the door open the door and see and see and see look look Look, says the Lord. Look, says the Lord. Look, says the Lord. I am I, I am. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm in a vision. The Lord's taking you into visions right now. The Lord's taking you into beautiful visions right now.
Keep looking, keep looking. Keep looking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. Keep looking. The Lord wants to take you on a journey. Just close your eyes. Let Jesus point the way. Let Jesus show you the way. He's escorting you into glory. He's escorting you into this place. And he says, see my daughter, see my son. Look what I have to show you. Look and see, look and see, look and see, look and see, look at Jesus. What is Jesus showing you? He wants to show it to you. He wants you to see. I pray right now, Lord, that those that I have not seen, that they would have eyes to see what you are saying, ears to hear what you're speaking right now. Thank you. The Lord is encountering people. I will not interrupt him. He will let me know when he is finished. There are people walking with Jesus right now. It's too precious. It's too beautiful. Those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will mount up with wings as eagles, as eagles. Some of you, he just wants you to be still and know that he is your God. Be still in the storm. Be still in the midst of your enemies. He extends you the place of rest. He presents to you a seat at the table.
where you can come and eat. And you can come and drink at the table. Right in the midst of the trouble. Right in the midst of your enemies. Have a drink. Come and eat. Come and eat. Wow. Come sit at the table. sitting there with Jesus I hear the Lord saying he's invited you to come to the table and you're sitting there with Jesus and something is happening now the strengthening of his presence is filling every part of your being and you're seeing clearly now in the light of his glorious face. He's filling you with his Holy Spirit. Receive this refreshing. Sitting at the table. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to hurry off to Cause I could sit with you Forever Where else will I go, Lord? Where else would I go? You have the words of eternity I just thank you for eternal life. I just thank you for eternal life. I'm so thankful. Lord, make us drink. Make us drink of your life, Jesus. Make us filled with you. That there would be none of us left and just all of you. Make me drink, make me eat, God. I yield to you right now. Make me, Lord, draw me to the table. Give me a supernatural drink of that cup that you serve, Jesus. Give me the supernatural bread of life that only your body contains. Wait a second. such a strong anointing, such a beautiful anointing, we 
There's people sitting at the feet of Jesus. You said, that's good, you guys are sitting at the table, but I'm down here under the table sitting at the feet of Jesus. And the Lord says, that's good. And he sees you sitting at his feet right now. That's for someone specifically. You're sitting at the feet of Jesus. He loves that. Crying over the feet of Jesus. Crying over the feet of Jesus. distract from his presence when he's moving on his children. Things are happening. Things are happening. God's not in a hurry. Our minds are the ones in a hurry. God's not in a hurry. He loves the fellowship. He loves communion with you. He loves to take you into his glory and show you mysteries. And if we will but come aside and sit with Jesus, he'll speak to us about the things of the kingdom. He'll reveal things to our spirit. He will open our eyes to the revelation of Jesus Christ. What is this mystery? Christ and the church. place of communion. No words are needed. 
for he knows the thoughts and intents of my heart. Where else will we go? Isn't the realm of Jesus, his glory, his presence, what we are striving to enter? Isn't that what we're doing day in and day out? Praying, striving to enter his rest. And then what do we do when we get there? We wait. It's so hard because we're busy. Our minds are busy. We think we must strive and go to the next place. Strive and go to the next thing. Strive, go to the next revelation. Go to the next vision. Go to the next song go to the next Bible verse. But what happens if we enter the place of His rest? No more striving. No more striving. Entering into rest. Enter into peace. Learn this place, says the Lord. Learn to come to this place. Learn to sit at my feet and rest. Somebody's being healed in your right hand. There's somebody your right hand, specifically your ring finger on your right hand going down through your hand to your wrist. It's like a nerve issue or something. The Lord's healing that right now. There's also someone that's been having problems with the right thumb. Something with the the end of the right thumb just below the nail and the bone there, the joint. The Lord's touching that right now. Just receive that healing in the rest. In Jesus' name. I'm going to pay attention to you guys. I'm just in such a realm right now. If that's you, put the comments up there. Wow, the glory is so strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Draw people even deeper, Lord. Help us to know Jesus. For if we truly know you, if we truly know you, Lord, and we truly become one with you, I know that we'll live in this realm of peace and purity and rest every moment of our life. I thank you for taking us into that place this year, the place of rest. How 
Hallelujah. If healing has touched your body, I want you guys to let me know in the comments at any time. If you've checked and you realize pain has left, or a knot or a cyst has shrunk off your body, or nerve pain left your feet, or mobility is happening in a joint, or whatever it is, whatever the problem is, anything that you've been praying about and seeking God about, I want you to focus on that and pay attention and see if the Lord has shifted that situation into rest in Jesus' name. Just in the rest, healing is happening. In the rest, pain is lifting. In the rest, who disease is broken. Sickness's hold is broken. It must loose right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You guys would take a minute and share this because the presence of God is so sweet. And I want people to be able to get on this broadcast today and just enter into that rest place or maybe they've been striving a long time, struggling a long time. Even busy in the way that we seek God. You know, and God wants us to come into peace. He wants us to come into rest. wants me to come into rest. Marianne, you had pain leave your body. Amen. Let me know what's happening. You guys tell me what's happening. If you can share it with me. Let me know where the pain left your body. Hallelujah. Lord, touch Deborah right now. Yes, the Lord is just touching you, Deborah. Put your hands out to Him. Receive that precious anointing just flowing on the session today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that right now. Thank you, Marianne. Bless you. We love you. Hallelujah. Stephanie, Lord, we come into agreement for her daughter right now. We thank you for the healing power on Stephanie's daughter, Stephania, in Jesus' name. We release that healing power right now. Thank you, Lord. Touch her. We curse the root of cancer. We curse the root of it. We loose her, Lord, and let her go. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We speak prayers over Bella. Lord, touch her with your anointing in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for it right now. Lord, help. If you just jumped on this session, you need to go watch the whole thing. The beginning is so good. We say, Lord, help. Yield to the Holy Spirit right now. Let the Holy Spirit begin to fulfill you, completing that work that Jesus Christ has begun in you on that day that you made him Lord and Savior. Jesus began a work in you. And he is faithful and just to complete it. He's faithful and just to bring it into completion. You say, Lord, I yield to you, Holy Spirit. Bring the work of Jesus into completion in me. I thank you as I pray in the Holy Ghost that I'm built up in my holy faith. According to Jude 20. Thank you for that right now. Thank you, Lord, for encouraging Deborah right now, just lifting that off. We pray for Jacob. Lord, touch his eye. We speak healing for it right now. We speak healing over Sharon's son in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, healing right now. Healing over this body, Lord, that is your beloved body. I thank you. Lord, just release forgiveness. Right now, in the Spirit, I release forgiveness over every situation, over over their lives. I release forgiveness, the power of forgiveness. You see, the power of forgiveness releases you 
and allows the Father to forgive you. If there's anybody that you need to forgive, just release them right now. Say, God, I forgive them. Don't go to hell to, for anybody. Don't go to hell for anybody. Release it. He said, if you don't forgive your brother from your heart, neither can your heavenly Father forgive you of your sins. So, Lord, we release everyone that has hurt us. We forgive them from our heart right now. And in fact, Lord, we're going to do something to bless them. I ask you to, to help me have a creative idea of how to bless someone that hurt me, blessing my enemies, bless and do not curse, bless those that persecute you, bless and do not curse, love your enemies, says the Lord. So Father, I pray right now they can forgive, release people that have hurt them, and find a way to creatively bless that person, giving them a gift or doing something kind for them, even when they don't deserve it. And Lord, I thank you that great is their reward in heaven. When they release that forgiveness, such a realm of forgiveness and grace and mercy and peace is released over their own lives. Oh, if we only knew, if we only knew that releasing others only releases ourselves. If we only knew, we would surely do it today. We would surely do it today. We would surely never harbor bitterness in our heart. We would let people go. So, Father, just help people to let people go today. In Jesus' name, I just thank you for that. And I release forgiveness, Lord, over their lives right now in every situation where there's been brokenness and the enemies tried to bring in discord and division. I just release the unity of the brethren right now. In Jesus' name, I release that anointing for the unity in their families. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, right now for that precious anointing, just breaking off those yokes of heaviness and bringing in the truth of Jesus, putting on the yoke of Jesus right now. The yoke of Jesus upon every person right now. Say, Lord, I want the yoke of Jesus on me. I want the yoke of Jesus on me. Oh, hallelujah. I want the yoke of Jesus. Put your yoke on me, Lord. Keep me tied up to you. Don't let us go astray. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling. Jude verse 24. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory. With exceeding joy. He has so much joy in forgiving you. Do you know that? Because He loves it. He loves to forgive when you repent and you say, God, I'm sorry. Lord, help me. Come into the Helper. Let Him help you. And the Holy Spirit will mortify the deeds of your flesh. He will crucify that flesh with Jesus. The more we stay in the Holy Spirit, the more we yield. It's the only answer, guys. All day, every day, praying in the Spirit, singing in the Spirit, praying, praising, keeping our minds stayed on Thee. See, perfect peace have they which love Thy law, whose mind is stayed on Thee. So let's keep our mind on Him and let's release people. And let's step into the fullness of what Jesus paid the price for, which is forgiveness of us, forgiveness of others, releasing people, not living in hatred, not living in division, not living in those works of the flesh, letting all that stuff go. And when we get filled with the Spirit, it flushes all that stuff out. That's the secret. Whatever we feed is what becomes strong in us. Feed your spirit. Let all that other stuff flush out. Let that love of the Spirit fill you, Galatians 5.22. Let all those fruits of the Spirit begin to fill you, flow in your life. The more you pour out love, the more you'll see it pour back into you. The more you give peace, the more you give forgiveness, the more you give joy, the more it will come back to you, the more it will increase upon you. Oh, who wants that increase of love and joy and peace? I know I do. Just let it increase upon you because you're going to give it away. Be givers. Oh, Lord, help us give, not grudgingly or out of necessity, but cheerfully give. I'm not just talking about money, guys. I know we always use that scripture with money, but I'm talking about being givers. Give. 
Give forgiveness. Give love. Give joy. Give peace. Give. Give your time. Give to others. Be a giver. For God loves a cheerful giver. Oh, I pray, Lord, that we'll remember this. And do you not know that your Heavenly Father is a cheerful giver too? And He wants to give to you right now. So as you've forgiven others, you can know that He forgives you. Uh-oh, hold on a minute. My thing went off. Uh-oh, my music is... What is that? No, I don't want that. As you forgive others. He forgives you. Hold on a minute. Oh, it's an ad. Hold on just a minute. Let me put this back on. Let me turn this down. Thank you, Lord. I got somebody working on soaking music for me, y'all. We're going to have our own soaking music. I don't know if she's on here or not, but I have a friend, and she's writing music specifically for Awaken the Heart. So I'm really excited to see what she writes. It's going to be awesome. Okay, a few more minutes, because I feel the Lord is wanting to just release some healing, some oppression. Okay, a few more minutes. Let's let the Lord move. And then, you know, if you have to go, that's fine. Get back on the replay later. Um, you know, join up with us. I'll be ministering this weekend, guys. Saturday morning, I'm doing a, a, a special ladies session in Huntsville, Alabama, if you can come, on 222. It's very prophetic because it's 222, 2020. So it's 22222. And I knew the Lord was doing that on purpose, inviting me. And to do this session because I have a word on 222. Now, I don't know if he's going to have me specifically release that, even though it would be awesome. He lets me do the 222 on the 222. So I'll probably hit on that word, but also I leave room for the Holy Spirit to do whatever he wants. And I want to minister to every person in the room. I want to yield to the Holy Spirit and I want to minister to people and I want to pray for them. And I want to believe with you for breakthrough and victory in your life because I care about you and I love you. And afterwards, we're going to eat together. We're going to break bread together. We're going to fellowship. We're going to just have intimate conversations. And in the Holy Spirit, it's going to be amazing. So if you can go, there's no cost. Just jump on our website, and you'll see the meeting on 222 um, up there with all the details. Okay? ContagiousLoveintl.com. And then next weekend, I'll be in Elkton, Kentucky on the 29th, Leap Day, which is awesome because there's a whole message about this. And why the leap year is this year on the same year that the harvest is happening in 2020. It's just too much to unpack. So I'm going to talk about that on the 29th. So come see me minister at Shepherd's House of Praise and Deliverance in Elkton, Kentucky on the 29th. The, mess the, the information is on our website, contagiousloveintl.com. Okay, that's it for right now. I'm not going to announce anything else. So hallelujah if you want to become partners just go to our website there become partners great okay thank you we love monthly partners we need some monthly partners if a couple of you could join up just any amount even small you know ten dollars a month if you feel like you could do that and be part of what we're doing that would be amazing we are um asking people to pour into us because we are taking what our partners are giving we're, we're taking most of that overflow of money now you know we we live off a of base salary you know monthly but we are taking overflow guides and we're pouring into places where we go we're doing evangelism we're doing outreach we're giving to others we want to be radical givers and this is what partners are helping us do and this is what we want to do and so it's not us it's you guys doing it you guys are the ones making the way for us to be radical givers and giving to others we had we were able to really bless a waitress um, and the amazing thing is, is before we even blessed her uh, she needed healing in her back and we just said can we pray for you and we grabbed her hands and she I don't know if she was even a believer because she prayed with her eyes open you know she kind of just looked at us you know and it was beautiful and the Holy Spirit touched her and took all of her pain and she said she said oh my goodness she said it's gone you know and she's like bending and she's trying to make it hurt and she said I couldn't do that I couldn't bend over it would it would twinge it would hurt so bad my back's been like that for a while and she said it was so horrible she said I can't believe this I can't believe this happened she's like what how did this happen you know and so we're able to share with her 
about the Lord and that Jesus loves her and he wanted to take her pain and not only that he wants to give her eternal life he wants to set her free from everything he wants to forgive her of her sin and he wants her to come to him so we gave her our information we want to do a bible study with her we told her call us so i hope she does we make the door we we open the door for many and we hope that many will come through that door and they will get the fullness of what jesus did for them but get this when some people brought our food out they said that that girl was back in the kitchen telling everyone what had happened to her and this reminds me of the story, guys, when Jesus encountered the woman at the well, right? And he told her about the husbands that she had had or actually didn't have. They weren't her husband, right? <laughs> the one she had was not her husband and the five before that was not her husband, the Lord said. But he prophesied to her and as she runs in the town and she says, there's a man that told everything that I did. You know, and she told of her encounter. And I said, Lord, this is what we need to see that people get healed and they get touched or they get a word that's so accurate that it makes them go and tell everyone else they know. This person, this man, this couple that talks about Jesus prayed for me and I was healed in my back. So the cook is telling us that she's freaking out in the back. It really affected her guys. It wasn't just like she was trying to be nice. Like this is what we want to see. We want to see people change. So we were able to take some, uh, blessing you know extra money from how the partners are helping us we we're able to bless that waitress because who knows we need to show her that jesus really loves her not just in that prayer but cares about her needs and so we were able to bless her way above what we should have tipped and um it was awesome and it affected her so much so this is what we want to see if you want to become partners with us this is what you're going to help us pour into the community everywhere we go we're doing bible studies we're meeting with kids it's happening guys it's happening it's happening little by little you take the land right guys we're going to take the land so as you partner with us you're going to see us see revival this is what we're believing for in this local city where we live right here in a 25 mile radius of our very home we're going to see outpouring here so that's what you're helping us to do and we're going to iceland next year so people that want to partner with that is helping us partner with iceland so lord we just thank you so much for the opportunities because lord it's you it's you opening the doors it's you lord it's you giving us the harvest it's you that has given us the power to get wealth so that we could be a blessing to the nations. Lord, it's you. And I just want to thank you even for all my partners that are on here today. And you're always faithful and you jump on the Awaken the Heart sessions. And I just want to thank you so much. And I just thank the other people that are on here that, you know, maybe you're not able to partner, but you're able to pray. And you can pray over us. Please pray over us. We need spear-throwing warriors right now. You know, because the enemy doesn't like what we're doing. Now, is he winning? No, he's not winning. But he doesn't like what we're doing, guys. We've had, you know, retaliation. But we win every time. But the enemy tries to bring things to try to, you know, wear us out or actually to take our life, which happened this weekend. Uh, he literally tried to to take our life. I don't like to talk about him a lot because he doesn't get to have the platform, you understand? But thank God for the discernment of the Holy Spirit and for the alertness uh, while I was driving because it was crazy. It's like the person was out of their mind. It's like they were in one lane and they decided they need to ram us off the road is basically what it was like. And the Holy Ghost protected us. We were on the way to preach to, del to deliver a message about rising up and not waiting any longer to step into the calling of God and going out into the streets, coming out of sin, coming out of complacency. Let's repent from our ways. Let's stand up church. Let's arise. Let's shine. Let's be awakened. Let's awaken the heart. Let's awaken the church and let's go. Let's get our community. There's no excuse. Jesus said to warn every man. He said to proclaim the gospel to every creature. And, th and this is our message that we're taking to every church, guys. We can't just sit around and have our little prophetic meetings you know all the time you know which is wonderful we love our little prophetic meetings let's let's get in the holy ghost but guys we've got to go get the harvest we've got to go get the harvest and so we were coming and bringing an on-point word and miracles followed the word uh, crazy miracles happened and followed the word after it and the fire of the holy ghost fell and blasted everyone so on the way that morning you know the enemy tried to run us off the road tried to kill us literally it, it would have probably killed us if the Holy Ghost had not warned me right ahead of time. And I literally felt it. And I slammed on the brakes, guys. And this car comes flying across and would have knocked the front of our 
car sideways off the road on an interstate going you know 70 75 miles per hour um, we would have knocked off into the median or went across the road on the or flipped or something I don't know it would have been disastrous it would have been crazy so here's the good news like I've said to you guys many times who gets to win Jesus Jesus wins and when does he win every single time so are we asleep no we're awake and we're also alert we're also sober and we're vigilant to see that our adversary is roaming about seeing whom he may devour but the good news is when we had the angels of the Lord around us he cannot touch us but I tell you the the, the righteous fire of God came on me after that and whoa you better have seen me praying in the Holy Ghost because I know what's going on in the spirit realm and we say what who gets to win and my kids know it too I tell them this all the time who wins kids right after that happened I said who wins and my kids said Jesus I said that's right and how many times does he win every single time so the Lord is our helper, like we talked about today. He's helping us, he's surrounding us, he's protecting us. But see, we have to be alert. That's what Paul to told us. We have to be alert and not give in to his devices of the enemy. So hallelujah. Um, I didn't want to talk a lot about that, but I did say that to say this. I need you guys, spear-throwing warriors, praying over us as we are taking this intense message of the gospel to everywhere we preach and minister at. We're taking it to the streets. We're taking it to our sessions. We're taking it to conferences. And we're calling the church higher. We're calling them into this place. We're calling them into living a set apart holy lifestyle. We're calling them to let the fire of God come on them, baptize them, to lay their lives down for Jesus and to go out and get this harvest because now is the time. It's 2020. It's the harvest time. So you guys know I've challenged you that and I know you guys are doing that. If you want to join Contagious Evangelism, we have a group set aside for people that are really on fire that want to go after this harvest. If that's you and you really want to do this, you want to obey the words of Jesus, you want to answer the Great Commission, Join up to Contagious Evangelism, where we testify daily of people, um, of things that, that people are doing, of uh, testimonies, and also you can testify on there. You can release daily testimonies. When you've gone out, you've got a word of knowledge, you saw God heal somebody, you can put it in the group. And so we want to invite you to be part of that, because this thing is a community, and I love community. I like it to feel like we're all leading. We're all leading and we're all following. We're following Jesus and we're all leading and hoping that others see our leading and they follow Jesus as we follow Jesus. So go enjoy Contagious Evangelism. That's what it's called. You can find the group easily and you can also find it from my business page. Go join it and be part of what we're doing. Get inspiration, get tips. Monday and I try to jump on there every now and again and give some evangelism tips. Uh, some equipping, some teaching. We really want to equip people and train people. There's probably going to be some online training going on um, uh, down the road. We just started the group. People are asking for us to do some online training like courses where we invite leaders to come in and do online training to really help them equip so that they can run in their city and see revival there. So guys, we're pioneering something here. We need your prayers. We need your, your protection, your covering. So I just appreciate that. So Thank you guys for joining today. Um, I believe that the Holy Spirit is releasing me to go. And uh, if you had a miracle that happened, I want you to let me know in the comments. Tell me what happened. Tell me how God touched you. Tell me whatever if you want to share it. Um, if you went to a vision and you wanted to say, I saw something, you don't have to tell me what you saw. I know that many of you had an intimate moment and encounter. Please tell me and share it with me. I would love that so much. Just say, hey, I saw something. Jesus took me somewhere. I just wanted you to know that it was that that, that was amazing. That I just so enjoyed it so so well. Um, you can message me just through Facebook Messenger or you can email me at info at contagious love, I-N-T-L dot com. That's a great place to, to email our ministry. And thank you guys so much for joining. If you didn't share this, please take a minute and share this because this was so good today and I would really 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 appreciate it if you could share this for me 
Um, oh, here we go. I wanted to put this back Life on real quick. No so, um, hallelujah, Lord, I just thank you for this time. I just want to bless you guys before we go. I'm just going to bless you out. Thank you, Lord, right now. I just bless them right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask for a covering right now in the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you for the blood of Jesus right now. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Right now, I thank you for that covering, for that protection over them in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for what you're doing in their lives. I thank you for the miracle power and anointing, Lord, that is going before them right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the glory before them. Father, I ask for the host of heaven, Lord, that hearkens to your voice right now to be stationed around every family, God, that has joined together in prayer with me, that we are one, we are community, we are one body, we have one Lord, we are of one spirit. And Lord, here we are. We thank you, Father, today that you have come and you have moved on our behalf today, Lord. You have moved, Lord, your kingdom coming in our in our life, Father, as it is in heaven. And I thank you, Lord, that you released that by your spirit today. I thank you that things are turning today. Things are shifting today. I thank you for new things happening. I thank you for new breakthroughs happening, Lord. I thank you for the spirit of God. I thank you for the glory of God. I thank you for the presence and the atmosphere of heaven taking over their lives. In Jesus' name, everywhere they go, when they drive, when they get up, when they lie down, Lord, when they go to work, when they come home, when they're in their homes, when they're when they're out in the marketplace, wherever they are, Father, I thank you for your glory. Lord, move in your glory. God, put your glory all around them. Put your anointing all around them. Lord, that not even one hair on their head can be harmed in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that they win. I thank you that they are overcomers. I thank you they are more than triumphant, Lord, through Christ who loves them. Lord, I thank you for that victory shout in our spirit today. Lord, that victory, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that if you are for us, who can be against us? So, Lord, let our faith arise in you today and the miracles that are happening in our lives. We thank you, Father, that good is happening. We thank you that breakthrough is happening. We thank you that freedom is happening. We thank you that deliverance is happening in Jesus' name. Lord, we honor you. We give you all the praise. We thank you for the, the healings that you did, the miracles that you did on this broadcast today. And Lord, just increase it more and more. I pray that your anointing would just hover over them as they go today in Jesus' name. Lord, draw them. Draw them, Lord, throughout their day and every day this week before we come back together for Awaken the Heart next week. Lord, I ask for an intimacy and a drawing, Lord. Draw them, Holy Spirit. Draw them to the Father. Day in and day out, when they wake up, when they lie down, Lord, draw them. Draw them to connect with you, to commune with you, to sit at the table. Lord, I thank you for doing that. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay, I bless you guys. Hit share if you did not share. Hit share for me right now. And come see me Saturday in Huntsville, Alabama for a ladies gathering. Now, if you're really hungry and you're a gentleman, I'm sure they won't kick you out. But it is a ladies' meeting, so that's up to you. <laughs> but if you're really, really hungry and you want to press in, of course we would not uh, <laughs> tell you no, but it's going to be a ladies' gathering and a ladies' luncheon after that. So 10 a.m. Central, Huntsville, Alabama, Saturday at the Freedom House. You guys, meet me there, ladies. It's going to be awesome. And then we'll um, eat afterwards and get to know each other. It'll be a great time. Okay, I love you so much. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. I bless you. Remember, it's time to awaken the church, and it's time to awaken the heart. I love you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.